Hey folks, today we're going to be talking about anchor building on the Western Mountain Rescue Team. Anchors are what keep the load from falling, so knowing how to build them well is critical. On our team, the anchor needs to be 10 times stronger than the load, and everything from the rigging plate up to the top of the anchor is considered part of the anchor. Today we're going to be talking about three different kinds of anchors. The webbing wrap, the wrap many pull a few, formerly known as the wrap three pull two, and the bullen. Let's get to it. So the first anchor we'll be going over today is the webbing wrap. What we need for the webbing wrap is webbing and a delta quick link and something to build your anchor off of. Typically a tree, we like to say five and alive, more than five inches in diameter and alive, or a very large rock, which require a very large piece of webbing. So it's very simple. We want to take our webbing and wrap it around the tree. Making sure everything's nice and straight. So I want to see, I have the bar tack here, making sure that's on one of these strands, not where the load is, not around the back of the tree. Checking over here, making sure things are straight and not twisted. And then you'll grab your delta quick link. And put your webbing on there and close the system. We use a Delta Quick Link rather than a carabiner because Delta Quick Link allows us to prevent cross loading by having a strand at each end of the triangle versus a carabiner where you have two strands on one side and one on the other. And that is a webbing wrap. So the next anchor we'll be going over today is the Wrap Many Pull Few. For the Wrap Many Pull Few, you'll need some sort of cordage or webbing and something to make your anchor off of. Usually we use a tree, also like the webbing wrap, five and alive, that's our standard. So, start this anchor, we're gonna start wrapping our webbing around the tree. So, once we have your cord or webbing wrapped around the anchor, you're gonna to wanna to tie a flat overhand with cordage or a water knot with webbing. Do you want about two fist lengths of tail? So this works out well. And now we're going to adjust the flat overhand to be flush with the tree and then pull our strands out. So now that we have our knot flush against our anchor, we have pulled a few and we wrapped many. In this case, with six and three. So now we can clip those strands. And that is how you build a wrap many pull few anchor. So the last anchor we'll be going over today is the bullen. The bullen can be used as an anchor, just as we taught in the knot tying video. In this instance, we have the bullen with a backup tied around a tree that's five and alive or larger. So in some cases, we're gonna be using two anchors to attach to our system. When we're doing that, we need to equalize them and connect them with two ropes. So up here on this end of the rope, we have a bullen tied as one of our anchors. And on this end of the rope, we have a webbing wrap with a Delta quick link. And in the point of the Delta quick link, we have a figure eight on a bite. Now we want to equalize it, meaning get equal amounts of rope and equal force on both anchors to the direction we want to have our system. Now this is static equalization. Static equalization means that once it's equalized to one spot, 
it needs to stay there and if it moves too much out of that line we'll put more force on one anchor than the other in our rock protection video we'll be going over dynamic equalization to equalize this we're going to be tying a frost knot now a frost knot is pretty simple it's pretty much a large overhand knot so get quite a bit of rope length maybe two and a half three feet Fold it upwards on here. And tie an overhand knot with it. You want a yard on that. And then we also want to close our system by attaching and locking the carabiner with the dead strand of our frost knot. Now you can attach your system to this frost knot. The frost knot does not need to be specifically dressed anyway because there are so many different strands involved in it.